grow my hair back. Check my nails. Baby, Baby how you doing? doing? Feeling good as hell. Woo! Welcome to the Wednesday Wrap Up. I am Sylvia Gordon. And I'm Rebecca Gordon. First thing we're going to talk about is succession planning. You are eventually going to retire, hopefully, instead hopefully. of dying out of this industry. Let's talk about some of the steps you need to take. Stay tuned. So we are giving up to our girl Lizzo. Love her music. Would love to see her in concert. Would love to see her in concert. So this is our AEP kickoff event. As it stands today, we will be in our home office in Indiana on Friday, August 14th, if COVID allows. Wow. Uh, we are taking all natural, natural, all required <laughs> precautions. Um, so that we can have half as many people in there, spread out twice as much, and blah, blah, blah. distance. And if you feel, if you, Mask. right, yeah, do your thing. If you don't have the dates for where you are, uh, ask your marketer. We do have three dates in Florida. We still have Texas. Hopefully. We, we don't know what's going on. We have yeah. California. And everything yeah. rolls back. We don't know. But Indiana is Indiana, a go. Yeah. Indiana's a go. Make sure you register because there's only so many people. We're doing two sessions this year. And one of the things that people really want to know about is succession planning. Absolutely. Everybody's... Older. Most agents don't come into the, the senior market until they're typically older anyway. Right. Their and, books have matured. And their friends are all mm -hmm. that age, and they're, like, capitalizing on it. And now they're like, okay, I want to leave and go to Florida. Right? Nice. What do I do? How do I do that? And sometimes just let your renewals run out. However, by just by just stepping away, things can fall off. Yeah, that's you not might always be, smart. The smartest thing might be to structure it so that you can sell it or sell part of it. There's many different ways to do that. But the first step typically is that you have a, a corporation. Well, and, and not everybody does that. And you're going to go over this. At That's the one AV. of the things we're going to go over Hot at the topic. kickoff. Right. But we get a lot of questions about that. The number one question we get is we get all the time uh, Do you want to buy my block of business? I'm, I'm done. I don't want to certify it, especially this time of year mm. when they're mm -hmm. facing down the right. barrel of that. They're like, forget it. And yes, we do buy blocks of business. So contact us, um, go through your marketer, and we can do evaluation and tell you what we would offer you if you don't want to certify. Some people don't want to certify just one carrier. Right. Or some of them, they, don't, they just They're want out. out. Right. So money. talk to us and let us help you plan the next steps for that. Perfect. Uh, I want to bring up Humana and, no, Vantage. So Humana came out with a, uh, a new D-SNP verification process. Just super cool, and I want to show how we get there. So when you're on the Vantage page and you've logged in, you're going to come over here under quote and enroll. And this is a big deal. You know, you're with a client. They're telling you things, making you think that they'd be a great dual client, but there's so many different levels. And you're thinking, oh, my gosh, are, are they going to qualify? Or are they not? So they have come out with their decent verification which is super slick. You just click on this or you open that and you fill out the basic information. You need to know their date of birth, social security number, Medicare ID number, submit it, and it comes back super fast. And it says, yay, proceed or nay, don't. So this is one of the brand new features making it easier for you to write business and staying in tune to what's going on. So if you have any questions on what they're doing, reach out to us. We have their rollout this week. Excited to see what's coming out. I get a question a lot of times this year. There's so many new plans. Always new plans all over little regional plans. Yeah. Which new carriers should I get contracted with? And that is, you know, the $50 million question depends on which one of the 50 million right, counties you live in across the country. But there are counties where you don't have anybody. So when a little one pops up, you're all over that. Gobble it up. Medigold was new, and they are in what states? They're in Ohio, Idaho, and Iowa. And I think it, there's a big play in Idaho because there's a lot of counties where you know, they don't have anybody else. Idaho last year, I, and this is interesting that, that they picked Idaho. It's smart on their part. We were at a rollout meeting, and I remember one of the big carriers, and actually I believe it was United Healthcare, said that Idaho was the fastest growing senior population of seniors moving to Idaho for retirement. Really? Yes. It was, it was like, really? I mean, it's gorgeous out there. So I am not surprised that they're picked that. Another state that's interesting I'm seeing more movement on is Iowa. Yeah, so a lot of these 
more they rural. rural underpopulated places where people didn't go in that now some carriers are expanding yeah. into. Um, what are some good things about the Medigold plan? So it is an HMO, but there are no referrals and it's minimum prior authorizations. And they have a really good, a really beefed up built-in dental. It's pretty high. Oh yeah. So yeah. that's something exciting. Yeah. Um, I have my United Healthcare blue on. I have on my nose. Because United is going, is expanding in Minnesota. And we used to be the biggest FMO in Minnesota. This was like in the day, Back like in the 2007 day. or something. And I was a kid. And I knew a lot about Minnesota because we'd go up there and recruit all of us. Well, then they pulled out because they had a non-compete agreement with Medica. And so then they were out for mm -hmm. years and then they put their toe back in two mm -hmm. years. Now they're having a big expansion. It's their home state. That's where their home office is. And United Healthcare is, it's either Fortune 6 or 7, which means it's the 6th or 7th biggest company in the nation, right. all sec all right. sectors, not just insurance. So they're awesome. huge. So when we Welcome get expansion home. from them, we're excited and we really want to do well by them in their home state. Yeah. So if you are if you have non-resident license there or you live there, we're really looking to partner with you and really push. And they're moving in some counties up north and down south, down south. in the state to, that haven't had representation, haven't had east and west. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Um, what's another one? Ascension Health. So Ascension Health. Um, offered by Centene. Oh. So if you're in Indiana, that was St. Vincent's. Yeah. Saint and you Vincent, know what's interesting? Francis. Because last year, they kind of kicked it around. We saw some Ascension clinics. So weird. Get ready to open. So did not open. It's like yeah. the tarp came off. The tarp went back yeah, on. Yeah, they didn't really know what they're doing. And if you remember Advantage Preferred Plus in Indiana, that was... St. Vincent, St. Francis. Oh, that's Lutheran. right. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's and they right. went belly up in a big way. So St. Fran St. Vincent's is back in the game and Welcome back. Centene bought them. So it's it's not called Centene. It's, it's called, called Ascension. Ascension Complete by Centene. So if you're in those states, that might be something that you want to take a look at. And we have the rollouts coming up, I think, in the next two weeks. So we should right. have more information. And that's one of the things about these rollouts. All the rollouts are virtual and a lot of agents are saying, I can't sit on a call for two, three, four, five hours. They're like, can you just call me back when it's over and tell me what I need to know? Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll summarize it, read our emails, or come to our rollout where we're going to talk to you live. And just remember, we put all of the information behind the firewall. Firewall. When I make a mistake, you always go, fire. That See, was just weird. I'm not doing that to you. I'm, fire I'm pointing out that you do it wall. to me. Uh, you watch all the time, you know, and that true. is uh, password protected. So you can always find it there. Let's talk about ask your marketer. Let's, let's talk about my enrollment tool. She, her daughter's in llamas at 4-H, and we got to go watch her. Got to go those. watch her do llamas. Okay. All right, my enrollment tool. We're super pumped about our online universal platform. Pump, pump, Why am I so pump, excited? Pump. One ID, one password, all your carriers. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I love it. I can't believe it. So when you come to my enrollment tool, you're going to log in. Your username is your NPM. Your password is capital G Gordon 2020 exclamation point. Oh. Uh, hit this that one. one. Yeah. So this is your homepage. You go to log in. Then you go to that page. Sorry. Then you go to that page right there. And That's we're going to hit log in. Oh. So I had Sean. Um, called me and he's like, hey, this is clunky. I'm this. Uh, 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 and I had Gina call me and said, hey, this is clunky. I, I agree with both of you to implement this and get this up and running with all of our agents. We have to import all of your carry. It's 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 a big process. It's a big deal. And we've been it's working hard. on this for months and it was clunky. It's smooth. But we're getting there, baby. We're getting there, baby. Yeah. So sorry to the people that started off early with us, and, with and, us. And, and, and struggled a little bit. It's all good now. It's all good. All right. So when we get to this, I want to show you a couple things on this page. First off, you're going to come up here to my accounts. It's very, very important that you always do this right off the get-go. You'll notice here on Sylvia, she has no email listed. So sad. If she was ever to forget her password, she's never going to get any information. Number one, make sure you have an email in there. Number two, this is super cool. This URL link, you can put this. So this is branded to you. You can send this directly to your clients to enroll. Copy. Or put it on your website. If you hit copy, go ahead and send it to yourself. It's super cool. You click it, you get the whole thing. If you need help, put it on your website. Talk to our IT. Next thing, view selling permissions. This is where I want you to go. And this is kind of weird. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. You just click there 
It's going to bring up all your carriers. Make sure that everything is built. We need you to make sure you see all your carriers. So if you don't... If you're like, I don't see Illinois. Well, then you're not going to be able to write that Illinois app and it's going to take... You're not... Just call us and turn on Illinois. You yeah. know, it takes a while during AEP. Take the time right now. Have your admin go through everybody's permissions. Make sure it's there. And if it's not, let us know. We'll build it in. So that's what this page is. That's very important. Those three things. Emails, copying your URLs, and making sure you're good to go. So now we are going to hit cancel. And I'm going to show you a, a cool tool right here. Quick quotes. So if I'm going to go to quick quotes, this is where I'm going to go and plug and chug and play. Please do that. Um, you have the time right now, even if you don't yeah, enroll a real practice. person. Play. I have play. made play. the unfortunate mistake of sitting down to enroll a client, and I had—I didn't check the software in advance because I know how to do it. Right. Like, I got like this. Mutual well, then they completely changed it. And then I look like an idiot yeah, you're trying sweating. to tap and peck, and I can't do it, and I have to get help. I can't. That's happened more times than I care to remember. I think maybe I should learn from that. I call that sweaty. But no, no matter syndrome. how many times I did the Medico Dental Vision here, and it seems like every time I went in to go do one, they had changed it. And it's the same with Social Security. You know, I try to register somebody or go to Medicare.gov and try to set them up for the blue button. Anything. They've changed it since I last went in. So my sales tip from the field is before you try to do anything live online in front of your clients, just step out and do it. Practice once. Okay? You'll get sweaty so you palms. don't look like an idiot struggling through it. All right, so I plugged in a zip code. View dashboard, this is your home screen. So if ever you want to go back and start over, hit view dashboard. Anytime you do that, if you don't save that page, you're going to lose your information. Uh, when we want to go on and build our drug database for our clients, this is going to be the button we're going to pick. And also, if you, if you check our website, um, we have a... A, a tutorial video that we made going through page by page by page. It's super slick. It's super easy. You can go on and play. I have a question right here. So can I get ahead of AEP and go set up my clients and, yes. and, and yeah, absolutely. import all their drug lists? Do yes. I have to type each one in or can I import the list? You have to type it in. But your admin could get ahead of it because I know people that have hundreds and hundreds of Part D clients. God, get some high schoolers. Yeah. And right now, you can get them for minimum wage. Right now, you can hire a lot of people. everything built in so you can do and you would start off with profile. That's where you would start. And then you would add them in. The next video, I'll show you how to do the drugs. Right now, I just want to show you how to compare the plans, which is super cool. You see how this says compare? So, Sylvia, click, click, click. It's, it's okay. 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> so, let's do that. So, all you have to do is click that and click, say, this one up here. And now, what you do is you come back up here and you see where it says view and compare plans. You would click that. That's going to bring them up side by side. Oh, they're already side by side. Uh, it's going to bring them up. Oh. Um, what's the sideways called? Spreadsheet. Vertical? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, um, anyway. It does. It really does work. It really does. And then it brings them up, and you can compare and contrast. But check out on our website. We'll be sending something out on the video. Um, it's going to be Chantel sitting there talking about it. She's and been ask, our lead yeah, on this. Get your drug list imported now. Okay. Super easy. You, you will thank me later. You will thank her. Okay, so we got a virtual reality thing. Since I'm blind in the one eye, I can't do 3D. I hate all y'all because I sit in the movie theater. Everybody's laughing and screaming I hate, and crying. I, I can't see 3D. 3D no but what. I can do VR. So I bought it. So this is me uh, jumping off of the Hancock Tower in Chicago. If you've never tried these, this is awesome. Yeah, if anybody it's comes over to my crazy. house, I will put you on this VR. This is so much fun. So he's trying to get me to jump off the plank, and I'm not feeling it. So I'm being shamed into jumping off the plank here. Can you turn it up? So it is. It, you're right on the edge. It's terrifying. This is her fiance Seriously, saying, anybody, just do it. Anybody... Yeah, so you like die. Yeah, so, yeah you want to buy you, that. You die and then you go through the ground. After I hit the ground on Michigan Avenue, you go into heaven and it's all white. And it, oh, it's terrifying. I'm still traumatized by that. <laughs> you know what, maybe? But if you live close to me, I want to put you on the VR. Maybe we could bring that Fun. to our AEP. We could do a raffle. Oh my God, it's so fun. Oh, let's do it. It's so much fun. That's crazy. I think Thank we're done. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned next week. Lots Good happening time, in the pre AEP ramp up. If you have questions, I'll concerns, if you loved our dancing, please put it in the comments. Thanks, guys. See ya.